Hi, today I want to talk about accomplishments and what it means to be accomplishment-based. We talk a lot about that at the Performance Thinking Network and our global network of colleagues uh, make a big deal of it. And so what does that really mean? Well, the legacy of this goes back to uh, our mentor and late thought leader, Tom Gilbert, who was one of the pioneers in the field of performance improvement. And he published a book back in 1978 called Human Competence, Engineering Worthy Performance. And in that book, he made a rather groundbreaking statement, which was that we should focus not on the costly behavior of people, but on the valuable accomplishments those people produced through their behavior and contribute to organizations. In contemporary terms, this is really considered a return on investment issue. Because what Tom was saying was, the return on any investments we make in people uh, should be the value of the accomplishments that they produce or contribute to the organization divided by the cost to produce their behavior. And if you think about it, behavior is very costly. We spend money hiring people, bringing them on board, uh, training them, developing them, uh, supporting them, creating environments for them to work and all the rest of it. It's the valuable accomplishments that we need from those people. I always like to highlight this uh, by asking, have you ever been in a meeting where nothing of value came out of it? And I'm sure almost everyone has. And so that highlights the fact that you can behave a great deal. In fact, a whole group of people can behave and not produce any valuable accomplishments. So why do we care about this? Well, it's probably fairly obvious, but as our model of the performance chain illustrates, we're trying to align the behavior of people with the organizational or business results that we need through the accomplishments they produce. And so we care about this because when we as leaders, managers, or performance professionals focus on accomplishments, valuable work outputs, things like widgets and documents, but also less tangible things like important decisions, relationships that we establish uh, and maintain, transactions, um, new ideas, revised uh, uh, processes, um, a whole range of things that we produce through our behavior. When we focus everyone on this, it's about the value for the organization. And so we care about it because it's, you know, how the organization uh, prospers and succeeds. Now, what's the value for a leader or manager of thinking this way? Um, well, as leaders or managers, we could certainly say, that a major function we serve is to accelerate business results through the performance of our people. And so again, what we need to do there is we need to identify with our people what's expected of them, not just their behavior, but the valuable of outputs or contributions. And we can define whole jobs in terms of the major accomplishments that that job is intended to contribute to the organization. When we help our people see that, we clarify expectations, we sort of clear away a lot of the confusion about what we should be doing day to day, and we line our people up with the organization's results. One of the things we know from the sort of study of employee engagement is that when people know how what they do on a day-to-day -day basis connects up to the value of the whole organization, they tend to lean in, they tend to be more engaged. And so by focusing on accomplishments as leaders or managers and clarifying how people, how people may produce those and contribute to the organization, we help to optimize not only the productivity, but also the engagement of our people. What's the value of this for a performance professional? And when I say performance professional, I mean people like myself who um, do projects for companies, either external consultants or internal consultants, training and development people, process improvement people, quality people, um, uh, HR, OD, and so forth. Well, why it's valuable for us is, again, our job is to accelerate results through people in general. And so when we focus ourselves and our stakeholders on the valuable work outputs or accomplishments that people produce. And we devote our efforts, our analytical efforts and our, and our design of uh, systems and uh, interventions that are focused on accomplishments, we will optimize value delivered. And in fact, in that context, we use our six boxes model, the other of our two simple models, to frame all of the things we can do, put in place to support the behavior needed to produce the valuable contributions, the accomplishments or outputs that people uh, help the business by producing. 
So again, really, this is about return on investment. This is a story about how we optimize the accomplishments of people and maximize the return on investment for uh, uh, producing those. And I want to thank you for uh, listening, and I hope you'll come back soon. I hope this is, uh, provides you at least some insight about why we do what we do and why we think you ought to as well.